Like when you hit them with red light, no matter what they're doing, they stand still, yeah. they freeze. We're very interested in that. Our visual yeah. stimuli yeah. Yeah. applies to that. David and his colleagues have developed a very interesting kind of behavioral analysis. We collaborate with physicists who work at Princeton and they've written this very sophisticated software that can automatically detect what these flies are doing. They've found a way to, without any kind of human labeling, map all of the behaviors into a kind of behavioral map. And so he's using that tool to try to understand more about the evolution and development of courtship behaviors. And we're, of course, interested particularly in takeoff and escape behaviors. But we can both use the same tool that he's developed. We've been involved in this uh, great collaborative project with Gwyneth. She's developed all these reagents that basically allow us to control the neurons that go from the head of the fly down to the thorax of the fly. We've each contributed something different to the collaboration. We brought this set of genetic lines of tools in a collaborative project here called the Descending Interneurons Project that enable us to target individual descending neurons. And he brought this apparatus and analysis that then let us see which behaviors were activated by these individual neurons. And so together, we're then both interested in going through the data and seeing for our different behaviors of interest which particular neurons might be involved. One of the people in my lab, Jessica Candy, has been screening these lines. What that means is she's been testing each of these lines independently, each one that controls a single neuron. I've been collaborating with Gwyneth for about the last year and a half, working on screening the descending interneuron collection. I'm interested in courtship and how it evolves. So I was hoping to identify descending neurons that controlled things that the fly did during courtship. And I have a number of candidates that came out of this. And in the process of screening for courtship, we realized that we could actually basically screen for everything in a way that no one had particularly done before. We were able to take this collection of neurons, and it's a really remarkable collection because it represents about half of the total number of descending neurons in the fly, and then assign a function to every single one of them using this technique. And so how many lines would you say you have that? That's, that's that like category? five or six in that category. Yeah. That's interesting. This is actually quite a big collaborative project involving not just Gwyneth's lab, but my lab, and also um, this laboratory at Princeton. And it's really the only way that we can do this kind of work now is you really require very sophisticated genetic tools together with very sophisticated analyses. And that's the only way you can really detect these very subtle things that individual neurons are doing in the brain.